what you're doing as far as buying more guns. Why is that even needed? Here now to review the latest polls I just discussed ahead of the midterms and the fact that more Americans are now arming up more than ever before. He's a veteran, and I'm going to guess and go out on a limb here that he probably arms up and defends himself. Our pal, Florida Congressman Greg Stubbe. Um, anything surprising in any of these things that I just discussed? The polls showing that the majority of Americans are worried about the economy and rising crime, and also that the numbers for 37 straight months were breaking records with gun sales. I'm not surprised by yeah, any I mean, of this, Greg. Yeah, I mean, uh, any, anybody that's been paying attention to what's going on has to go out there and buy gas or groceries or is providing for their family realizes that the economy is going to be a huge drag for Democrats on this midterm election, yeah. as it should. They created the current inflationary environment that uh, we're existing in. And um, it was all because of their policies that it's exactly where we are. And it affects every single American, regardless of your economic class. And it affect, especially affects those that are low to middle, middle income, uh, your working class people that are out there working every single day, which I hope show up in droves in the midterm elections. And I guess more and more of us are going to start using our cash and our checkbook to be purchasing firearms, because I certainly don't want uh, the list of my firearms purchases to be provided to the government. Yeah. Can you believe that one? I, I mean, what Not other... shocking at all. Exactly. I'm trying to think of what connection here, what reasoning that Visa, MasterCard, and Express would need to do this. All of a sudden, out of the blue, we're now going to categorize if this isn't some woke virtue signal by these corporations. It I mean, is. What else it would is. it be? So many of these companies, their, their boards have gone so woke and progressive that they'll do whatever the Democrats want them to do. Like Facebook will do it. Twitter will do it. Disney will do it. It's all about this woke agenda. And we have corporate boardrooms that don't care about actually having a successful company, but doing what the woke left wants them to do. So you can't get a firearms registry passed through U.S. Congress. Joe Manchin's not going to vote for that. So what do they do? They use their influence through the IRS and the, the financial institutions and the Treasury Department to force corporations like Visa and MasterCard and American Express to just give them a list and categorize firearms and ammunition sales so that they do have that registry and they're doing it without the will of the Congress to vote it through. Mm. Next thing you know, you'll see Democrats saying that all gun stores in this country will only be allowed to use credit cards, no cash purchases. Watch that, right? That'll come next. So then they'll have their yeah, gun registry nice. without getting a gun registry. Yeah, because guys like me are going to pay cash and check now. So they're, they're, we're not on some big list that's going mm -hmm. to DOJ or whoever that's treasury or whoever's going to keep these lists of firearms owners and, and that sort of thing. So that, yeah, that's next. I mean, every single step that they can control your life and have information and access to everything, Facebook, Twitter, control the discussion, uh, influence everything. We want more and more people to be incumbent on government subsidies so they can control that. It is all about a socialized totalitarian government that they want to throw on the American people. And that's why it is so important in this midterm elections that Republicans Republicans take the House back so that we can be a check and balance to all these horrible policies and provide oversight on all these different departments and agencies that are doing all this type of behavior. 57 days out. You just talked about it right there. All these government enough. subsidies. Um, I, I didn't know about this one. I don't know if I missed it on vacation, but my team brought it up today. But this one just made me go bonkers. So that poll showed that it's the economy and crime. Two biggest concerns, majority of Americans, right? So let's go to the economy real quick. Greg, you and I are veterans. I just read an article that says that the Biden administration is now suggesting that Army, Air Force, and other military members struggling with inflation go get on food stamps. Can I just point out, we just sent how many more billions to Ukraine last week, and now you're going to tell our brothers and sisters in uniform that instead of giving you a raise for defending our nation, we're going to tell you to go get on food stamps. What kind of ass clown world are we living in, Greg, where our boys Billions and girls in uniform, Ukraine, Green New Deal companies, 
giveaways to solar panel companies that are made in China. I mean, you name it, it's, it's the green giveaway, it's the progressive giveaway, but not to our military service members who are getting kicked out of the service because of their vaccine choices, refusing to get the vaccine. They're more concerned about pronouns being used in army regulations than they are in the defense of our country. And it shows a lot. And I just sure hope that the American people see all this and are gonna hold them to account this November. Let me tell you, one of two things will be determined this November, Greg. It's either that <clears throat> if Democrats pull this out somehow with the policy, well, lack thereof, or their insane radical woke policy, if the American people vote for that, that will improve, that will say to me and prove to me this country is doomed forever. And if the American people don't feel that way and the Dems still pull it out, that'll prove they cheated once again. I'm sorry, but there's no other way to explain if there is not a red tsunami come November. Every single policy that Democrats have tried to put in or have put in to place since Joe Biden took over have been doing nothing but eating away at the fabric, the soul of this nation. So there's no other way to explain it. If Republicans don't pull this out, Greg, it's either cheating or we're too far gone because too many Americans have been brainwashed and lied to by the mainstream media about all of this for years. Well, and if you look at some of those other polls, they trust Republicans on the economy and they trust Republicans on crime. So if those are the two highest things that are polling the American people and they trust us on those policies, then God willing, we'll take the House back in November. Well, your lips to God's ears, 57 days and counting. Greg Stubbe, representing Florida 17th and a veteran. Thank you so much, sir, for your service. Appreciate you. you. Yep. See you soon. Yep. Coming up after the break, we continue the discussion.